And you're from Georgia? Is I'm that... from Atlanta. Yeah, born okay. and raised. Yes. All right. Any yeah. other Atlanta teams that you're, you're... – um, You know, the Braves, the Hawks, of okay. course, UGA. Okay, so you are Georgia then. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Man, what? All right, so then let's get into this then. Yes. Because you know this weekend – Mm-hmm. is a large game. Certainly is. You know, I'm a Michigan Wolverine. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you guys did very good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes. I did a lot. Yes, I know. I um, <laughs> and uh, Chris Brockman, by proxy of uh, his cohabitant, and what, 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 you're not your spouse, but she's the mother of your child. His baby's Correct. mama. Your, 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 your partner in life. Your life partner. Absolutely. Um, he is now a Georgia Bulldog by that proxy. So. Good man. And I point out to him all the time in the same way that my school mm-hmm. plays are die hard, died in the wool, big time, top five every year rival. Every year. Uh, Alabama and weekend. Georgia are not forced to do that. No, we are not. No, it's two it, different. It, it, it's, it's SEC East, SEC West. Whatever. Look, we have so, to play against Georgia Tech, okay? It's tough enough, right? I understand that. And that's that's an, <laughs> that's an, in, uh, an in-state rival of right. some sort. Good I old fashioned hate. But – we finally are getting what we should be seeing schedule-wise, but we don't because these two teams eventually make it a, to take on each other yeah, more it's, often it's, than not. Look, it's uh, the, so now mm-hmm. comes Georgia versus Alabama. Yes. If Alabama wins this game, do you think Georgia deserves to be in the Final Four playoffs? Well, look, if, if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. <laughs> I'm not going to win. But listen, if Great something answer. happens to yes. Carson Beck and Brock Bowers mm-hmm. and they can't play, then maybe if we don't get beat by more than a touchdown, of course, man, we've won 28 straight games. You know, and yeah, but it's for this year. Though. I know, but we've been beating everybody up this year. I mean, Georgia Tech had a nice little, uh, I think they lost by 10 and right. lost by 30, but you know. Gotta give the little brother a little bit of help. Right. Um, no, nah, but I'm, I think that, yeah, I think we should just go in. We're the number one team in the country. You know, I mean, as long as we don't get molly walked, I think, I think we'll get in. But we're going to win. I don't even know why we're having these hypothetical conversations, it. Rich Eisen. I understand that. I'm just throwing it out there to okay, you. Okay, throw but it out. No, that's the question right now, I think. Or the bigger question is if, if Alabama wins, does Alabama make it over Texas? That's the conversation. Yeah, there's a crazy chaos theory that, you know, that could happen. Because I do understand what you're saying about Georgia, that to have a playoff, wouldn't you want to have a team that has won the last two? Right. And has won 28 in a row. Right. Despite their loss to one of the best teams in the country in the, in a, if you will, hanging chat of a game. Like, I mean, I, I, these conference championship games, it, 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 it only serves to provide an impediment. I agree with you. For yeah. a team that has already proven over a dozen games that they're right. worthy for it. You know, so, think about it, like you said, with Texas. All right, Alabama slipped up against Texas, right? Yeah. But Alabama's had an has a They've had a good season. It's not been amazing, but I'm saying it's not been amazing. They're 11-1, right? Yeah. I mean – They'd have the same record as Texas, and yes. Texas is like, well, that means we go over mm-hmm. Alabama, even if Alabama beats the number one team, because head to head should matter. And then it's really up to a crew of mostly, you know, uh, the names are known, but we, you know, a crew of folks sitting in a room to decide what's what. And then there's the matter of the Pac-12 as it's no, about to descend. Hey, man, they're, no, they're, no, be careful. Uh, well, honestly, uh, Oregon okay, and yeah. Washington are really good. So you, did the, you see? Have you seen? Mm-hmm. What Bo Nix has done in in Oregon. Georgia, his whole career, he's zero and four. Well, what are we talking about here? <laughs> You're loving this, Chris. I, I know. What are I love we it. Talking about. I mean, look, they it's, have a fun amazing. time throwing the ball around, the, you know, on the West Coast for the, you know, for their fans. But when it comes to the real deal, come on, man, it's not okay. the trenches. It just means more, Rich. It just means SEC more, yeah. stuff, man. I know we are so arrogant. Well, not more than my school. Uh, you know Calling what? ourselves America's team well, amidst what's going on. But you know SEC, what's crazy? Right? It's what TCU nice. did to you guys last year and what we did to them. I know that. That is uh, a, uh, that is that is a, uh, especially since we supposedly had their plays, 
<laughs> no, they changed. They knew about your scheme Damn. and changed the signs. That's exactly. Oh, who that's knows? What Whatever. Yeah. Whatever's convenient for people to say about <laughs> to try and denigrate Michigan. It's I understand. I mean, but guess what? Happened. I'm here for it now. I'm here for it now. Uh -huh. I am here for the hate, which I never thought I would be for Michigan. I never thought we'd be hated, and I never thought I would want to be here for the hate, but I am 100% here for it. I can't wait for it. Y'all beat Maserati last week. Yes, we did. Maserati Marv. Y'all beat Maserati Marv. And I'm like, it. I was surprised. I'm not even going to lie. Because Harbaugh was nowhere to be found. I'm really That's happy right. for you guys. Thank you, Omar. Yes, I greatly I can't appreciate wait. that. And I cannot wait to play y'all in the championship this year. I would love that. I'd sign for it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would sign for it right on now. The show, and I'm talking to all the smack. Well, Rich. you know what? Well, <laughs> all of it. You know, I'm going to be unbearable. But just to bring it all full circle. Do you, you know where the, the, you know where the game is? It's in Houston. It is that. I don't want to talk about that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.